Welcome to SQL Reporting Service Part 35. In this video, we're going to see the indicators. Last time, what I showed you was some formatting videos and some pagination videos, right? So today we're going to take a one step ahead and we're going to start learning the indicators. Now, the question comes in your mind, what is indicators and why I want to use it? Trust me people, this is one of the coolest control you have in the SSRS, all right? I mean, there are a bunch of other controls, but this is also cool. But the question is, why should I use the indicator? What is the purpose of an indicator? So like imagine, this is a story, where you know uh, you have uh, <clears throat> you know you're generating a report for a client and client is like a human he's a lazy he doesn't know like how much there are things in stock how much he sold how much you are in the order place so he wants to know like should I buy more stock should I so it's like a question so we need to generate a report from him and we need to help him like is he really need to buy more stock based on the type of store he's running actually if he is like you know he's got a huge mall or something like every day you know he makes the huge sale then this kind of report will really help him to get the thing done so let's get started <coughs> I'm in the visual studio all right as usual I got my demo reports project if I want to add a report so I'll go right click add a new item and it will give me a prompt but I'm not gonna do that because I already got one right so next thing let's get back to the business add a data set I'm gonna add a new and I'm gonna choose the shared reference which is a data source generic now as you all know we've been using this for a long while so if I uh, what are you seeing over here is nothing but the same thing one second let me hit ok and it looks like my mouse has hung so what you're seeing over here <coughs> one second sorry cancel what you're seeing over here this guy is nothing but you can see over here right here right and this video is all I already go this guy does nothing but it actually connects to my cool instance and in which it points to my north wind so using which you know I can access any tables I like all right so the data source part is clear let's go back and configure our queries so I'm gonna add a new uh, table and I'm gonna choose the products as per the theory or you can say story we are trying to help our client to figure out how much products he got in his stocks right so we got a product table and we're gonna choose the product name and how much you got to you know units in stock let's execute and as you can see I got like 77 records so like we got 77 type of products let's hit OK and the moment you open up you guys gonna see the product name and units in stock let's go to the toolbox let's add a table in here and let's take this guy out alright next thing uh, what we're gonna do is go back to report data drag the product name in drag the units in stock in next thing is what we're gonna do is oh and let's put some girly color to this guy hit F4 get the properties and let's add some I don't know this color looks great and let's preview so now you can see you got product names and unit in stock so now it depends on the client if he wants to order or not but we need to define some set of rule which will help the client you know to get the thing done so looking at the data what you can see is I'm gonna restore this thing so you can see in a better view so you can see like you know just look at the numbers right units in stock so 39 17 blah 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 120 so you got like so many records but the highest what I can see is 125 all right so what I'm seeing is the highest record okay <clears throat> next thing I'm gonna do is go to the design and I'm gonna use the control called as indicator the moment you drop the indicator control in it gives you a pop-up it tells you alright you want to show something to your client so I got three things which one you want to use so it really depends up to you or your client whatever he wants to see so I'm gonna stick to the basic I'm gonna choose the traffic lights hit OK next thing you gotta be stay careful because as you can see I have selected the box not the control so I'm gonna click right click I'm, I'm, I'm gonna click on it and it will ask me like alright you want to use the indicator but you're using against what product name or units and stocks alright I want to use units and stocks click OK and hit save next thing let's preview it 
all right one second let's make it more meaningful and give it a name should I buy all right so this looks good let's preview it the moment you do the preview you get like a lot of red lights yellow lights and green lights based on something and something but remember I said look at the highest number which is 125 <clears throat> so how these bulbs are coming in red yellow and green I'm gonna show you in the next video because I'm running out of the time right now but believe me, people it's very interesting uh, so I will teach you in the next video so thank you for watching this video and if you this uh, if you like this video then share it with your friends once again thank you good night and take care